Brad here, Buzz TV. First web of you of 2015, and we were lucky enough to catch up with Leona X. Hey, Leona, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great today. How about yourself? Ah, uh, life's good. So, first off, you're in Washington right now, correct? Yes. Okay. How's the weather? It is cold and foggy and dark and dreary. <laughs> you know, it's uh, kind of a little funky here, but it's not raining. Now, since the last time we spoke and actually saw you, and you pretty much better have seen Leona X because she's been on Buzz TV, you've picked up a uh, rhythm guitar player. Yes, we have. His name is Jerry Bain from Las Vegas, and he is amazing. I love him. We are such a good match, and it's hard to find that with two guitar players. Um, yeah, it is. You, you know, it's uh, you either have the ego thing or just styles don't blend. We can't wait to see, you know, catch up with you and do a show. In fact, we wanted to catch you. We had to go to Laughlin uh, a couple weekends ago, which turned out to be a complete cluster in itself, um, and missed that show. But we'll catch up with you soon. Now, with the new guitar player, do we have any new music that all four of you will be together on an album or a track or two anytime soon? Yes, and that is uh, part of the, uh, all the exciting news that I have uh, for the updates today since NAM and the last show and everything. Uh, so yes, we have lots of new material that I'm so happy that we get to do even better now that we have the other guitar player because you know, we can add all those layers and stuff to the song. The exciting things, we actually are going in the studio in March to start tracking for a full full-length CD with Bobby Ferrari at Vegas D Recording in Vegas, in Las Vegas. Very so, nice. Yeah, I'm real excited about that. And what else? Let's see, I know you did some really good stuff at NAM. I think, uh, I hear uh, you're going to be part of the Marshall family. Yeah, so exciting. Um, well, you know, the thing is with these companies, what it's really all about is building relationships. And Sometimes it takes a while to really establish yourself with them. Uh, I've been lucky enough to already be established with Gibson, um, which I'm sure we'll talk about a little bit more. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. Yeah. Um, but I, NAM was a very successful trip. I came back with a lot of support. Uh, some new sponsors like Morley Pedals, <laughs> Seymour Duncan Pickups. Uh, deepened my relationship with Gibson, and also um, one of the most exciting things is now with Marshall, I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot for them, uh, for their website, and that's real exciting. I love doing those kind of things. Oh, we can't wait to see that, just because I could uh, just imagine the fun stuff Marshall's going to do, especially in front of a wall of Marshalls. Um, yeah, for sure. Now, I also uh, heard you had a little bit of Ugliness at Nam because you were one of the, the those people that lost their phone pretty quickly and if I lost mine I know the nightmare I'd have so I'm just putting it out there if you didn't catch up with Leona at Nam we missed her ourselves she lost her phone you lose your phone and you're out of town smoke signals aren't even getting to you oh my gosh it was like a death sentence <laughs> not being able to connect with anybody it was very very difficult. But, you know, I made the most of it and had fun anyway, you know, and uh, just hoped that I would run across the people that I really wanted to connect with, um, which some of them I did, but I didn't get to catch up with you, so that was a bummer. But here we are now. You know, as I said, it all works out for, for actually strange and magical ways, you know, for us. The biggest thing at NAM, um, besides talking to everyone, was this Rock the World project. And... You know, if we spoke with you, it would have been a great thing, but then we probably might not have even talked about what we're doing here. Um, but before we even get into that, what else is going on with Leon X? There's, there's more news. I know I shut you up and interrupted you, so what did I cut you off on? Well, two more big exciting things. In addition to uh, the new CD, we're also going to be making two new videos. And I'm really excited nice. about that because I've never really had the opportunity to make a real video. I, I have one, but, you know, it was very low budget. And so I'm really excited to do some actual real, you know, videos. I love doing that kind of stuff. 
What? So that's coming up, and then also uh, we have a spring slash summer tour that we're putting together. We're just not exactly sure of the exact dates, but we know that it's going to be through the Pacific Northwest, the, the West Coast, uh, California, Nevada, Utah. So definitely uh, a lot of exciting stuff in the works. Then we're definitely going to catch up with one of those shows. Um, now, um, with uh, all this fun stuff you guys are doing, especially the video, I don't know what your concepts are, but just keep this in the back of your head. If you guys need this or ever want to use it, you do have a really nice drone. Um, so if you're thinking you need some aerial shots, you're more than happy to use it. You know, we'll send that off to you and let you guys handle that. And, um, oh, well, wow. Yeah, this, this is what was... This is, we have uh, friends, uh, artists called The Chimps, and their last video, California, California, I think it was, they actually used the drone. Um, sent me a, a message and said, hey, Brad, we got the idea of the drone concept from the footage you guys shot over at uh, that punk rock uh, bowling festival. Then when we met up at NAMM, it turned out they actually used the same model drone we used. So I thought that was actually quite cool that one of the things we were using, someone else was able to actually see what we did use the same technology for something really cool for themselves and again that just makes me feel good because that's kind of what we're all about um and my nam news sony that you know and this is about building relationships we have a great one with sony um we've had it for years and years and uh we the right people uh connected this year and sony's actually sending us down a brand new 4k video camera though we started shooting in 4k um, we weren't lucky enough to actually be using a Sony product. Um, and when, when I saw them, I kind of felt real bad, had my tail between my legs and said, hey, I really wanted to go this way. But I had to look at certain price points because I had other things to do. And then I got my hand spanked and said, why didn't you just ask? And I don't like asking for me. So it's real nice they're hooking us up. Um, but yeah. I do... But you know what? I do want to get into that this Rock the World project because I did ask everyone and their mother about this where I didn't feel bad because my attitude was I've heard no from women for the last 30 years of my life so no is not a word that scares me or frightens me anymore and I figured I'm dealing with every company in the world and we asked for gear. We asked for strings or picks, uh, anything they could have and uh, we got lucky. The first company we asked, Black Star Amps, and we love you guys, kicked in a few amps. And from then on, the snowball just kept rolling. I mean, even your family at Gibson, we saw them. They're kicking in some cakewalk stuff. Uh, I think a couple Tascam recorders, a lower-end model guitar or two. And everyone just jumped on board. And for those that don't know, what we're doing is we're going to Turkey, actually, in March. It's a lot quicker than what I expected it to be. And we're giving gear away to less, uh, I won't say less fortunate kids, I'd say, there's kids and young adults that need the tools, they can't get them. Either their government doesn't believe in freedom of expression, or the markup is so insanely high that they can't afford it. I was speaking to a young man in Iran the other day, and he says, Brad, we can get gear, it's just pretty much crap, and it costs insane amounts of money. Um, and there, literally, there'll be eight or nine kids that share a guitar, because they can't get them. And to me, it just blew me away when, you know, when I heard this. So, you, you know, it, it's a weird thing. It started with I gave a guitar to a kid. Just felt bad and, and sent him one of my own. Um, then we had some personal weird issues, which it's not even worth the camera time. Metal Sanaz called me asking about this. And again, it was a real bad situation that turned into such a positive out of the bad. We're covering this. Now we hooked up together, started this Rock the World project. And we're going to do something really good for kids. So we got real lucky. Um, in fact, I think you got something to tell us about this. Well, first of all, I just want to say, uh, you know, how amazing I think it is that you have the support of all these major companies. And it's really awesome that they stepped in to help. Because most of us here in America, we can't even imagine what it's like to live in those countries where you don't have those choices, you don't have the freedom, you don't have the ability to do a simple thing like, you know, 
attaining an instrument and follow your dream. You know, we have so much more opportunity here. And I've been to a lot of other countries uh, when I've been on tour. And it's when you do that, when you go and you visit all these different countries, you realize how lucky we are to live in our country where we are, where we have as much opportunity and freedom as we do. So I'm really super happy and proud to be a part of helping in this in any way that I can. So thank you for having me because it fills my heart with joy to know that I'm helping to um, facilitate the dreams of some of the young kids in other places that couldn't otherwise do it. Well, well, you know, we appreciate that. And again, uh, you know, Leona's helping us out. She's going to open a few doors that I wasn't able to get to, and she has the contacts now. Um, it really is an amazing thing. Um, I, I always get choked up talking about it. Um, just because I know how much these kids really appreciate everything we could do. And just like you, I've seen other places, and it just blows my mind on how, if I actually had to be there and be in this place 24-7, knowing what I know, I couldn't do it. Now, Absolutely. You know, now maybe growing up that way, it's a little easier. And I'm not saying it's easy because a lot of these kids have some crazy struggles. But I also know some of them are actually doing stuff in the business. I know, you know, uh, you know this, this guy I was talking about specifically is now doing work on the next Kid Curry album out of France. And it's all doing, you know, and he's still stuck in Iran, but he's making money at his craft, which tells me they're talented people there. They just don't have the tools. So we're getting them the tools. And with a little luck, we'll do a part two, but that's somewhere down the road. But we're definitely getting this thing to Turkey, and we're blowing it out. And again, with help, I'm you know, Let's do it. you know, with help with, from people like you, it's going to happen. Now, the most important thing, Leona X. I want to come see this band play soon. I want to shoot them. Are we going to be lucky enough? I know you're always between Washington and Vegas. Are we going to get another sneak peek at some stuff that I missed last month? Uh, you mean as far as the next show? Come yeah, on. yeah. Might you guys be playing something before this tour goes off? Oh, absolutely, yes. In fact, we have our next show coming up uh, March 17th. We are opening for Doro. You know, Doro Pesh of Warlock. We are, show, we are actually shooting Doro. So, amazingly enough, I don't see why we won't be shooting a couple songs from Leon X. Yeah. And now we'll have a 4K stream to go with the 3D boom. So I like how things work out. Again, you know, if we got you last week, we might not have had the 4K all lined up because we're still learning it and having issues. But now it's all dialed in and we get you guys with three cameras. Um, in fact, we just put something up today from Vamp, where we shot a band there with three cameras. So our three camera shoots are, are getting up there, and we're starting to bring a lot more bang to the table. So I can't wait to get Leona X and that four, you know three camera bang and 4K zoom and all that stuff. So hey, let me ask before we sign off, what might I have left out about Leona X and the project that you know everyone needs to know? I think we covered a lot of stuff, but I'm good at forgetting things. Well, um, gosh, I think I've pretty much mentioned everything, you know, all the new sponsorships uh, from NAM, the recording, the videos, the tours, the shows. The only other thing I can say is watch out because we're coming for you. And, and, you know, and this is a hot, tight act. When we saw them, it was a three-piece, and I did love the unit, and they were a tight three-piece. Now it's a four-piece, you know, my lips are watering. My mouth, you know, I'm drooling because I know what you guys can deliver, so I'm just waiting to see it soon. March 17th, March 17th, if you're in Vegas, come see the Doro Show. LVCS or Vamp? Is it the LVCS or Vamp venue? It's LVCS. That's what I thought. So LVCS, Las Vegas Country Saloon, Tim takes care of you. Leona X. You'll see the Doro Show, B-Rad Buzz TV. We're out of here, guys. See ya. Later.